Hey you guys! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video today, we are doing our June favorites. A um, couple of things off the top. I am pre-filming because June is a super busy month. And I just want to say I'm wearing shorts because I want to feel like I'm in the summer spirit. But I have fuzzy slippers on and a crew neck because it's still like three degrees in good old YYT. Um, but I want to get into this video. I have some skincare and one beauty favorite for you guys. I want to say Lush opened May 24th. So we have a Lush Cosmetics here finally, which means your girl has some Lush favorites. It has been so nice to be able to go into the store whenever I just want a bath bomb, a bubble bar, a bath oil or whatever and get to smell them. My bra is not working with me right now sorry bear with me um so I wanted to share some of my new favorites I wanted to tell you guys what I'm loving um I did pick up some stuff in the Sephora VIB sale so if you guys watch my vlog channel you will know what I got because I hauled it in there and um I've also been loving some things from that so it's mostly skincare it's actually all skincare except for one thing so the beauty thing I want to tell you about is I'm still addicted to this Zoella Times Colourpop a brunch date palette it is the only palette I've been using on my eyes for the last two and a half months and I just can't stop so I haven't and I don't think I'm gonna <laughs> so this is what it looks like you've all seen me talk about it I did a tutorial I even did a review so um yeah not gonna dwell on this I'll try to remember to link it in the cards um, your girl loves it. I also decided to embark upon the ordinary skincare in the Sephora VIB sale. And I'm really glad I did, guys, because I pretty much only use that now, plus the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cleanser. Um, so once I, like, cleanse with my Clarisonic, so I remove all my makeup with, like, the Sephora Black Magic Cloth, then I cleanse with the Clarisonic. Then I grab a cotton round and this stuff, which is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution pH of 3.6. And I like soak my cotton round in it and I just rub it all over my face. Then I dispose of the said cotton round. And this stuff feels amazing, you guys. It was dirt cheap. I think it was like eight bucks. So I'll try to remember to link it down below for you guys. And uh, it was dirt cheap and it's super effective. I mean, I've had a lot of like texture problems with my skin. And I mean, I obviously, when I switched over to using the Ordinary skincare, it obviously caused a flare up. But now that that like transition period's over, I don't think I'll ever go back. My skin has never felt as good as it feels right now. And it's insane. And I'm shook. And I love it. And <laughs> I'm so not mad at it. Um, on top of that product, I picked up the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula this stuff is dirt cheap it's really good i put like a drop of it on my fingers and i massage it into like the areas i'm most acne prone which would be my chin i've had a couple of spots like right on my cheekbone um, and that's it and that's the serum i use there and it works like a charm i mean my skin had does had bleh. my skin has not had a breakout like a real breakout in a long time and i'm so happy about it like we're working on the acne scarring and the redness now and the texture and I'm finally starting to find a really good balance so I'm really excited about it and the other serum I picked up is the caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG and I literally just put that like around my eye sockets and it takes away puffiness it takes away dark circles I am literally not wearing foundation a lot of the time I put some on today because I was filming and I'm also vlogging today but um like I don't wear makeup to work anymore one of the girls at work was like your skin looks so glowy and so amazing without makeup and I was like I know it's insane I'm shook I'm so grateful for the ordinary <laughs> and then I've also been moisturizing day and night with this moisturizer it is the natural moisturizing factors plus HA surface hydration formula this is a thebomb.com less is more I don't even put a dime sized amount on my finger and I'm it's like I'm rub it into my whole face and my neck and it just makes my skin feel amazing you guys like I'm shook for cheap affordable skincare this stuff is amazing and you guys should totally check it out like it's insane and then we have body care um, this stuff is something new to me I don't even know if it's that I mean if I feel like it's new to Lush because I check their website all the time this is the salted coconut hand scrub um, comes in a little pot 
then, <laughs> y'all, this is like the bomb. Looks like that. It smells delicious. It's really gentle on your skin. It's a great exfoliant to get rid of all the dry skin. I mean, we're transitioning still into summer. We're in winter right now. So like there's days where it's 13 degrees. There's days where it's three degrees and it dries out your skin. So I've been exfoliating my hands with that. And I've also been using the Mamma Mia scrub from Lush on my legs. I use that once a week, like on shave day. So I totally recommend that as well. And then I always have done this. Every time I go to a Lush, I buy a charity pot because it just, I don't know, it's nice to do something good with your money. They're cheap. I think they're $5.97 for like a body moisturizer. Um, this one supports the Wolf Hollow Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. And um, yeah, I bought it. It's a 50 gram moisturizer. I just use it on my hands after I exfoliate and I love it. I am a Lushy, you guys. And for me, it's so hard because we never had a Lush for so long and now we actually have one. So all my money is going there. <laughs> Throw the budget out the window. Lush has opened and I'm so grateful for it. Um, they do have some other things that I like as well. They have a naked shower cream. So it's essentially their shower gels, but in solid form and you chop them up into little pieces and they work just like a shower cream, but it's not a liquid and therefore it has no packaging. So it is 100% environmentally friendly, which I super duper like. Um, I really adore Lush for all of their like packaging or lack thereof because it's so environmentally friendly and they're really trying to um, suppress their environmental footprint. So anyway, grateful for that. Another favorite this month is my recycling skill has gone through the roof, you guys. I used to be that girl who always put out a full bag of garbage every week. Now I'm down to about a quarter of a bag to a half a bag at most. I take the time, I do the work, and I'm trying my hardest to save the environment to the point where like I'm actually taking travel mugs, reusable water bottles. Like I really am going out of my way to make sure I'm doing those things and getting into those healthy habits because we only have one planet, you guys, and we got to do our best to keep it alive. So um, that's pretty much it for me for this favorites video. If you guys went to the Lush Grand Opening back in May, let me know like what are your like favorite Lush products? Are there things that I haven't tried in the past that I should probably try now? Your girl I think is going to be addicted to Lush again. I mean I went through a phase with it where I would order it online and I'd have like when my friends came from Ontario I'd have them bring things. So um, I have a feeling now that we have it back I'm going to be like rediscovering some old favorites and I'm going to be definitely generating some new ones. Um, so that's it for me. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Hit subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel and I will see you all in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.